Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my self-care summer night routine. I'm going to share with you guys how I unwind and get ready for the night. So I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. So we're going to start off when I am done doing work for the day. Today I was filming a couple videos and my desk so happened to be here for one of the shots of those. So I am going to go ahead and tidy up the space, bring the vanity back to where it used to be and tidy up my desk a little bit. One of my favorite ways to relax and unwind is play some lo-fi music. I love streaming some lo-fi on YouTube and I am turning up my fan because it is like 90 degrees out when I was filming this so my room was super hot but I also unpackaged a box from a hair company. I'm working with them with a UTC video. I'm very excited about working with them and I'm actually filming the entire process so stay tuned for that video in the next couple weeks. A hobby I've been picking up on recently is creating mood boards so I actually found this site called landing from TikTok, and it's like you literally create mood boards there's like a whole community on there I started creating a mood board and I just became obsessed over it so I highly recommend checking this out this is very therapeutic to just get your mind off of things today I'm creating a mood board all about the PFG vibes if you guys don't know what PFG means it means pink feed goals I'm grabbing photos from Pinterest uploading them onto this page and I'm just creating a whole pink aesthetic mood board this is perfect if you're trying to create a mood board for a specific project or maybe fashion related if you're trying to curate outfits if you're a stylist I highly recommend just looking into this even just for fun but that's just one activity I've been picking up on we're gonna fast forward a little bit to dinner tonight we were having chicken fajitas it's like chicken with peppers and onions and I love this dairy-free queso from Siete. After that, it's time for a nightly walk. I usually go with my dad or with my family and we've been going a little bit later after dinner since it's summer and it's been super, super hot here in Washington. So I like walking and watching the sun go down. It's so peaceful. So we're out there for about an hour. I get home and I do the dishes. I literally dread this activity every single night. I am a procrastinator. <laughs> I put the pro in procrastination. Earlier in the day I washed my sheets so I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed and situate my room a little bit before I move on and go ahead and take a shower. I just love having my room all clean and cozy before I go to bed. I feel like if there's a mess in my room I just like freak out and I weirdly enough can't sleep well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> Okay, let's get into shower products. I love this Odell Beauty Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. Highly recommend trying it out. You can get it at Target. And sometimes I will use this dry bar liquid glass. It's basically like a gloss finisher. It makes your hair look super shiny. So I do that a couple times a week. Obviously, do a little bit of body wash and shaving. I take off my makeup beforehand, so I just wash my face with just this hydrating cleanser, and that is my shower care products. Now, post shower, I have like a full on routine. So, the first thing I focus on is my hair. I love using this Odell Beauty Air Dry Styler. I've noticed when I air dry my hair, it's super frizzy, it's super poofy, and using this styler helps a lot with that, and it helps condition my hair after my shower which I really enjoy and to get my hair out of my face I just throw my hair up in a claw clip tried and true this was not my best claw clip today though and then for body care I have been mixing this vitamin E oil with my favorite moisturizer and just moisturizing my body with that for face I start out by using this niacinamide toner I feel like it's a good like cleansing palette when you're done washing your face and you just put this toner on top and one of my favorite things I like to do for a good self-care night is do a face mask. I've talked about these on the vlog before. Dr. Jart Clearing Solution Sheet Mask. I swear if you have like a little bit of breakouts, 
put this mask on. I like to do it once a week and then I notice in the next few days my skin will clear up a little bit more. So highly recommend this. I'll link everything down below. I also like using this silicone face mask type of thing uh, to prevent my mask from slipping. Just one of those things that is like you don't need to have, but they're great to have. <laughs> and then about 20 minutes later, I'll take off the mask. I'll rub more of the product onto my face and my neck. And then we'll move on to the rest of the skincare. I love using the Sunday Riley CEO Afterglow. Something about this is amazing. It brightens your face. It makes you look super glowy. Definitely a splurge, which is why I only use it a few times a week. And then the last step is a lip mask. I love Laneige lip mask. I'd be wearing this like every single night, every single morning. It makes my lips so hydrated and soft. So that is my nighttime skincare routine. Now we're gonna go on with oral care. I love this David's natural white toothpaste. I love that it's fluoride free and they use hydroxy appetite as the ingredient to help whiten and strengthen your enamel. Highly recommend it, but after that, I'm gonna get into bed, get all cozy. Something I like doing is turning on my red lights. I definitely recommend looking into red light at night. Lots of benefits, but I will go on my computer and go on to my Notion app and start planning my day for the next day. Um, one of the things I have been implementing in my workflow is the 90 minute focus sprint. And that's basically where you work for an hour and a half straight with 30 minutes or 45 minutes of a break. So what I'm just writing down is all of my must do's that I have to get done for that day. And then I'm kind of blocking off like what I'm gonna be doing in my first block of an hour and a half work, when my break is gonna be the second block and just going on with that. I notice when I have a schedule all lined out for me from the night before, I will get a lot more work done and I'll feel more motivated to get work done because I, I know what I need to do already and I'm not just blindly going into my work day. So this has been helping me out a lot. But after that, I am going to set my alarm for the next morning. Usually I've been waking up at like 7, 7.15 in the morning. And of course, I like watching my office while I'm going to bed. I always have to have like a fan or a TV going on when I'm going to sleep. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this night routine. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.